Looking back at Yu-Gi-Oh this past year, we can definitely say it was a wild one. I mean, the year started out with Tier Laments and Sprite dominating the format completely, with some other decks in contention too, I guess. But eventually, the Tier Laments became completely unstoppable when we got the Ishizu cards. Funny enough, that deck died just so that Kishira would live and then replace it as a new Tier 0 quote-unquote deck. I mean, the playstyle for Kishira is completely different from the Tier Laments one, but it was now the best deck by a long shot. Or maybe it wasn't the best deck and the actual best deck was Nature Runic and then Purely. But either way, we had two really long seasons that were essentially dominated by two decks, at least in terms of representation. I think we can now all agree on the fact that this game needs some fresh change. Obviously, Kashira is the main target here because it's been around for like almost half a year, but at the same time, some other decks need a nerf too. And I'm saying that because some other decks scare me way more than Kashira, and if left unchecked, they will make you miss Kashira. So this video will be a prediction video on the upcoming ban list, assuming that we're going to be getting a huge nuke. Yeah, I know words taking out of context. But before this video starts, I would really appreciate you guys if you could smash the like and subscribe button for me real quick. You are the best, thank you so much, and now let's proceed. So first things first, I believe that this is going to be the end of the Kashira engine once and for all. Fenrir just has to get limited because it's way too good and way too splashable. I mean, I can think of like five other decks that can play like two or three Fenrirs in their main deck right now, which just speaks volume on how good it is. So this will, of course, inflict a lot of collateral damage because it really hurts the pure Kashira deck, but also a bunch of other decks that actually play Fenrir. Unicorn should also get limited, but unlike Fenrir, this one especially only really hurts pure Kashira. And for safety measures, I also want to believe that a Ryzard might get banned. I'm not 100% sure that all three of these hits will happen, but with Konami, we never know. Sometimes decks get way too much slack, and sometimes they get overkilled. But I do believe that Kashira dodged the list for too long, and now it's time. Now, I am still staying true to the fact that this is a prediction video and not a wish list. otherwise I would actually say ban freaking Kashira Birth. I really don't think that the Kashira deck is capable of functioning without that card, to be honest. Look, either way, if you hit three different cards in that deck, it's probably going to be unplayable. Just play something else at this point. Anyways, next up is another deck that I really don't want running around, that would be Purely. So in the OCG back when Sleepy Memory was a 3, a lot of the players actually qualified for Worlds using Purely. And that deck was pretty much at full power until they finally got Sleepy Memory hit to 1. And now it's pretty much more of a fear deck because instead of drawing 6 cards, you're only drawing 2 cards in your opponent's standby phase. They still have 3 Delicious Memory, unlike us where we only have 1 Delicious Memory so their likelihood of making Expertly and Wild on turn 1 is a little higher. But I see screw all of that and let's limit Sleepy Memory on top of Delicious Memory staying at a 1 here. I hate cats. I mean actually I love cats but just not purely. Yeah no, it gives me nightmares. But again, this is a necessity, otherwise it's going to be even worse than Kishtira. Now, since we're already trying to hit decks before they become a huge problem, why not do the same with other decks? You know, after what happened at Worlds and knowing that Kishtira was not running around, I think we can safely say that Dragon Link needs a little nerf. Limiting both Bistul Magnemut and Lubalion is a must, but at the same time, it's not enough. Hieratic Seal really has to get banned if we want them to stop making boards that always play around Nibiru. Yo, that card is like so stupid. A Link 2 monster that summons any dragon from the deck doesn't negate the effect and it also bounces a card without targeting? Nani. I mean, they can still make the Boreland Link 5 or something, they can still make Boreload Savage and do a lot of things, but at the same time, the deck is gonna be worse now. And Nibiru is finally gonna hurt a lot. I'm telling you, if we don't take measures right now, this deck will be everywhere. Also, I really want to believe that Floodgates and Trap decks will finally get a little bit of a nerf. I don't know much about Rivalry, Gozen, and There Can Only Be One, maybe, but Skill Drain to One definitely makes a lot of sense. I hate that card with a passion. And I also believe that people who do not play Trap decks every single event will agree with me. And before this video gets a lot of dislikes by Labyrinth players. Anyways, Eradicator Virus should also probably get banned, although this isn't even that much of a nerf to Labyrinth. If anything, I actually see it as a positive thing for Labyrinth because now people are no longer going to be hitting them with Eradicator for trap cards if they're playing things like Dragon Link or Kashtira. Eradicator is such a joke to have access to and so many decks can actually play the card. Anyway, it's not like you can say that it promotes back and forth gameplay. Like, bro, you're going to be losing upwards of 6 cards from your hand on turn 1. How is this fair? Moving on to another deck that will probably dominate the meta if left unchecked, that would be Despia. I don't think we should kill the deck completely, although I have nothing against it because I hate the deck. But you know, limiting branded fusion makes sense and also limiting branded opening could be good. This would bring the deck pretty much to the same level as it is in the OCG because they also have those hits. 
So you know, that's why I believe that this prediction is reasonable because it already happened once in the past. And again, I don't believe that we can keep letting Sprite run around. We can be really nice and only semi-limit or limit Sprite Blue or Jet, which honestly doesn't even change that much. It forces them to be a little more creative and actually play decks that incorporate the Sprite cards as an engine instead of just playing pure Sprite. Because honestly, with only one blue and one jet, you can still play Trabrigade Sprite really well. Or we could decide to screw them up completely and ban Nimble Angler. That way, their Sprite Sprint, which is pretty much one of their best cards, is completely useless. But I think that's a little overkill. Last but definitely not least has to be Runic Fountain. Semi-limiting that card was horrendous because it was played at 2 anyways. But limiting the card would definitely make the deck a little more fragile. And by the deck, I'm talking about every single deck that actually plays the Runic Engine. A simple Cosmic Cyclone would essentially make you lose your ability to win the grind game. There are still several workarounds, so the deck is still playable, but at least it wouldn't be unfair anymore. And again, I'm gonna repeat myself, but if we don't limit this card, this engine will keep seeing a lot of play. I guess the other solution is to keep Fountain at 2, but limit Runic Tip. I can get behind that because Runic Tip is by far the best Runic card after Runic Fountain, but uh, maybe it's not enough. Alrighty, that's it for the limits, now let's get into the semi-limits. Just kidding, I've got nothing at all. Okay, now for the unlimits, I have a few ideas. Salamangrid Gazelle could and probably should go back to 3 because we are getting Soul Burning Volcano very soon. So we're going to be getting new Salamangrid support and of course the best way to sell that is by promoting the Salamangrid deck by putting Gazelle back to 3. I really see no wrong with this because Salamangrid is pretty fair nowadays and honestly Gazelle back to 3 really changes nothing to my life and I think Salamangrid players are going to be really happy with this. Now, speaking of Salamangrade, Sky Striker is kind of like its sister in a way because they coexisted in the same format, and I think we can all agree on the fact that the deck sucks ass now. Like that ass, I've seen more Iggy Azalea summoned in non Sky Striker decks than actual engages being activated. That's really pathetic, especially considering the fact that they have three Kigari and two engage and still can't do anything. Look, what's a third engage gonna change at this point? There we go, absolutely nothing. And then worst case scenario, if the deck is like a little too good, worst case we just put it back to two next ban list. Yu-Gi-Oh is getting so fast that even a deck that used to be really good for several years is just not really good anymore. They really struggle at building a defense turn one and avoid getting OTK'd unless they're drawing cards with engage or sacking there can only be one. So honestly, I really don't care. You can actually give them back at the third engage at this point. Alright, so that's it for the nerfs, now let's talk about the cards that actually should come off the ban list. Infernoble just got some new support from Duelist Nexus, so why not be nice to them and give them back Smoke Grenade? I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I'd rather die than see that card ever again. On a serious note, I actually think Chicken Game can come back. Okay, maybe not to 3 right off the bat, but maybe back to 1. It's a worse and a better upstart. It's worse because once you use it, you have to clear it, otherwise your opponent will be getting a free draw off of your card. But at the same time, it's better because it's a field spell and it works really well with Ancient Fairy Dragon and oh, what do you know? Ancient Fairy Dragon just got way better. Revolution Synchron just made Ancient Fairy Dragon infinitely easier to summon and of course, by unbanning Chicken Game, you are also promoting Revolution Synchron. And either way, Chicken Game is just so fragile at this point, like it loses to Droll, Anti-Spell, it loses to Time, it has so many flaws. People overhype this card like crazy, but honestly, it's really just not that good. I also believe that Zodiac Drancia can come back because the deck actually just sucks. All it does is Zeus Turbo and not even that well because the Purely deck just does it better. And they actually do more than just Zeus because they also have an unaffected by card effect towers that can spin your cards. So whatever, at this point just give them back their Drancia. But then again, I don't even play the deck so I really don't care if it gets unbad or not. All I'm saying is it might happen. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I've covered it all. Guys, please let me know what you think should get hit on the next ban list. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.